Okay, so I was contacted recently by iFu, and they're doing a Kickstarter on this HDMI sender. And uh, I had a read through all the literature they sent me, and it looked really interesting, and it is a great product. I played around with it for the last couple of days. This is a first batch sample, uh, and they just wanted me to test it, give my feedback, do a review on it, and, uh, and I love it. It is really exciting to use, uh, and there's so many different things I can use it with. So let's switch over to screen capture, and I'll go through a few of the specs. So if we scroll down on the page, uh, there's three models that they do, and I've been sent the HDMI one. You can see this is different to the one I've got. This has got USB-C, and this works with various different smartphones and also the Nintendo Switch. So it, it actually attaches to the Switch, uh, and you can use it as a very, as they show here, as a much lighter, smaller option. So the reason it's so fast and so little input lag and such good quality is that it's using millimeter wave technology uh, and they're getting 3.96 gigabits per second, which is a superb throughput. So it's retaining all the information that's uh, coming from the HDMI connection. So there's two main products, uh, USB-C and HDMI. I went for HDMI just because it will work with so many more devices for me, but the USB-C one definitely has its own merits. You can attach it to the back of a Nintendo Switch uh, and then you can project it to the TV and it's a super light, super easy way of doing it. So the two main things that I really like about it, apart from the fact that it's got blisteringly fast speed, uh, is the no compression, whereas most other video sending devices use some sort of compression, so they lower the quality of the image. But also this audio and video delay, 0 0.01 millisecond is just ridiculous and I've not even noticed it. So I couldn't tell you if I was playing on HDMI or playing via this wireless sender. So the model sent to me was the iFu H2. Uh, there is a Pro model which has a larger throw, it's a slightly taller device. Uh, and there's a big list on their website of various different things it works with and I'm going to be trying out some of these today. So let's have a look at what comes in the box. So it comes with a power plug to power this device. Uh, obviously this is a first batch sample so I haven't got a UK one here. Uh, it also comes with this little mini tripod which has got rubber feet on it uh, and this can screw onto the top. Uh, but you also have rubber feet on here anyway, so you don't need to use that, but there may be some applications where that's more handy. We also have a USB-A to C cable, which is to power this, uh, so either from a device or from a separate charger. We have an uh, ordinary HDMI cable to connect this to your TV, because this has HDMI and also USB-C input. And this is a longer USB-C to A cable, uh, which is to power this device. And this is poseable, so depending on what you've got it plugged into, you can move it around. So first of all, I'm going to plug the receiver into the HDMI. So that's plugged into my monitor now. Uh, so we've got USB-A to C. I'm using cables I already had rather than unbox new cables. And we can tuck that back out of the way for now. So you can see the light comes on. Uh, so this is the sender. So that needs to plug into the HDMI device. And you can see I've plugged it into an NVIDIA Shield there. I uh, haven't switched it on yet. Uh, and we need to power it, but it powers from the NVIDIA Shield in this instance. So I can plug into one of the USB-A sockets. And then you can see I'm powering that device. When I spin this around, well, at the moment, it's not turned on. So let's switch on the NVIDIA Shield because it detects when it gets a video input into it. There you go, you can see now they're both talking to each other. Both went blue, both gone green, both gone back to blue. And it's just sorting out the signal. The Nvidia Shield takes a while to boot up, so I'll just get the controller. So you can see now it's going green and the blue light has just come on on the monitor, so that shows that it's detected a signal. And if we move up to the monitor, it will start to come on now. There you go, you can see it's come on now. Uh, this is all showing green. And uh, if I pick up the controller, just to show you that it's all working. So if I was to go into a PlayStation game. Now this monitor doesn't have sound, so I'm gonna switch over to my TV to do more tests. So this system supports 1080, Dolby Vision, and HDR+. So the quality is just superb. This is obviously a PlayStation game, but you can even see from this that it still looks good. I've got it on a slightly nicer skin, so it looks better. So let's try some other things on my TV. 
Okay, so this first test is just to show how good the input lag is. So I've got my MacBook Air, uh, I've got my IFU adapter just underneath the TV there. So let's plug in an HDMI adapter. So there's a USB-C to C cable which powers the IFU. I've got the iFu plugged into an HDMI to USB-C adapter, which is the standard thing you would get for a MacBook Air, because the MacBook Air doesn't come with an HDMI socket on the actual MacBook. And that will pick that up. You can see the iFu adapter is uh, well, went blue, or you can see it picked it up super quick. So now I need my Xbox One controller, and I'm gonna play a bit of uh, the Dolphin emulator, which is basically a GameCube emulator but I think it will show how good the input lag is. Let's go full screen. Still amazed at how good this looks on the big screen. So I'm just looking at the TV screen now and everything feels as it should. It just feels like I'm playing the console game. Lovely and smooth. The colors look great everything is performing as it is. I wouldn't know it wasn't plugged in with an HDMI cable. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, so here's a different use. I've got a power brick on my tripod connected to the iFu adapter. The iFu is plugged into my Sony camera and you can see my monitor is being beamed what the camera is seeing. So I'm gonna put the camera outside in the garden and uh, see if we can see what the birds are doing outside. Okay, so you can see my camera in the distance there in the background pointed at the bush and uh, it's showing on the monitor what it's seeing, but unfortunately there's no action there at the moment because there's no birds coming by. But uh, it definitely works. Here you can see it working with my iPad with an HDMI adapter. Works fine with my Raspberry Pi 4. Samsung DeX also works really well wireless uh, with no noticeable input lag, so it's great for full screen TV gaming. And this is Real Racing 3 from the Play Store and it handles super well, looks great. So let's try out my Xbox Series S. I've got the iFu plugged in the back of the Xbox and it's powering from the front of the Xbox. And my TV and the iFu receiver are the other side of the room. Now I mentioned earlier on, this is a first batch sample. The Kickstarter is starting tomorrow, so 16th of March is what I've been told. Mine does have a little bit of fan noise, but I've been assured by the team uh, that they're working hard to reduce the fan noise. Uh, it's not noticeable when you're playing a game, but if you're watching a very quiet movie, you might notice it. But as I say, this is a first batch sample, so that's to be expected. Right, let's play a game. Just wanted to forget that I think I'll mute the noisy mic. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not noticing any degradation of picture. It looks great. It feels lovely and smooth. Oh, I've got a shotgun, so let's let's engage. Pick up all the ammo I can get. See if there's anybody over it. Oh, it sounds like there's some action. Oh no, oh, someone down there, look. Could be interesting. I'm gonna have to play out this whole game as it's a squad game. Is one of my team? No, everybody's all right. Oh, hold on, there's loads here. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, didn't know what was going on there. But it works perfectly fine. Uh, it, the game doesn't feel any different, that's great. So as I mentioned before, the Kickstarter starts on the 16th of March. Um, so other things you could use this for, uh, if you have a look on the site, 
Certainly one thing I thought, if you've got a TV on a wall that isn't accessible for cables or you don't want to put equipment near it, then the IFU is great for that. Also, you can see on their website, they show it being used for meetings. So you literally just give it to the person who you want the laptop to be broadcast and it can send it to a TV in the same room, which is pretty handy. Uh, I also thought about uh, people have multiple games consoles. I'm the same. So if I want to use a games console, but I don't leave it set up all the time, it's easier for me to just set it up on the side of the room rather than have to put it somewhere underneath the TV and amongst the mess of cables. I can just leave the iFu plugged in and I can plug in the console pretty much anywhere in the room and it will still work. So thanks very much to iFu for sending me one of these to test and thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.